In this video, we're going to start simplifying polynomials by adding and subtracting terms. Um, before we do, though, it's kind of important that we know what a polynomial is. So, um, a polynomial is just something that can have multiple terms. Um, and the terms could be constants, they could have x's, it could have multiple x's with different powers. It's just a, a, an expression that's made up of, of, of terms, basically. So that's very vague, um, <laughs> but we shall see more on polynomials right now. All right, so let's look at other words, though. So let's say you have x and you have x is raised to the fifth power. Um, we can we can mention that the exponent of or x is 5. Another, another word to say that the exponent of our x is 5 is degree. So the degree of x is also 5. All right. But let's say you have multiple terms, you know. Our little polynomial is going to happen right now. So let's say you have multiple terms. Let's say x squared plus 3x to the fifth plus 2x minus 1. All right, so this is a polynomial. We have multiple terms here. The degree of this polynomial is the highest exponent. So we look for the highest exponent, and the degree of this polynomial is 5. Now, the reason I mention that is because if you are ever asked to simplify a polynomial, translation. The degree should be highest. It should start off with the highest degree and the degree should decrease. Alright, so when you're simplifying a polynomial you need to make sure that your degree is going from highest to lowest. So that's why I wanted to make sure you know what the degree of a polynomial is. Something else that you should know. Like terms. What are like terms? So let's actually write this down. Like terms are variables with the same degree. Variables with the same degree. And why is this important? All right. Um, well, it's super important to remember that you can only add and subtract things that have like terms. So adding and subtracting is only allowed with like terms. All right. Okay, lots of red on this page. We need to turn it soon with like terms. All right, so this is super important. And if you remember this, then everything else should come pretty easy. Okay, so to simplify this expression, the first thing that we need to do is write it in order of decreasing degree. So we need our highest degree first, and then it should gradually go down and down. So the highest degree is 3. So we can write 2x to the third plus x to the third. The next highest degree is 2, so we can put that term down, 5x squared, followed by x to the 1, so plus 4x, plus x, and finally minus 1 with a degree of 0 because there is no x. Now we can join like terms. Okay, so we have x to the third here, 2x to the third plus 1x to the third. You can literally think of x to the third as apples, bananas, oranges, or tables, whatever. doesn't matter. There are two tables. You add one table, you get three tables. So 2x to the third plus 1x to the third gives you 3x to the third. All right, here we go again. Well, we only have one thing raised to the power of 2. So that part is just minus 5x squared. And we also have 4x plus 1x, which gives us 5x. And finally, there's only one constant, so we just put that down. And we've simplified our expression. 
Okay, so for this one, I've pulled in a little bit of review, and then we're going to do what we just did to finish up the question. But we have some multiplication happening here. So as you know, whenever you don't see a sign between a number or between a term and something in parentheses, that means that is being multiplied by that whole thing there. So we have to use our distributive property. So we're multiplying that 3 by everything in those parentheses. And we're multiplying by that 2 by everything in those parentheses. And we have to start that way. So on the left side, we get the 3 times x squared is 3x squared. Minus 3 times 2x gives us 6x. And 3 times 4 gives us 12. Plus... 2 times 5x squared gives us 10x squared, and 2 times negative 7 gives us minus 14. All right, so now we can do what we did before. The first thing we want to do is arrange it from highest to lowest degree. So right now our highest degree is that 2, the square. So we have 3x squared plus 10 x squared. My next highest degree is x to the 1, so we can put all of those. We have a 6x, and that's all we have there with just 1x. Um, and then we also have constants, so we have a plus 12 and minus 14. want to check to make sure everything is there. Yes, it's there, it's just in a different order. So now like terms. 3x squared plus 10x squared gives us 13x squared minus, there's only that one, six, one term, which is 6x, plus, well, actually, we have plus 12 minus 14. That will end up giving us minus 2. And that is our answer. Our polynomial has been simplified.